Warning, the following podcast was recorded by two assholes who were drunk and may contain offensive language, jokes, and occasional death threats. Man, my voice sounds so fucking cool. It puts the lotion in the basket. Welcome to the Den of Debauchery. Wonder if it there it goes. And... Never mind. It's Got going. It? Yes. Okay. Next. All, right. all right. As as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we have a guest on multiple times, uh, we like to make sure that they are truly integrated into our world. So, Nick, if you wouldn't mind saying the N word real quick on camera. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to move on until you say it. Right. That's the, funny thing is, the funny thing is, is I stop there and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, what other N word could I say? And then I'm thinking, oh shit, the word no has a freaking N. <laughs> nah, Nigerian. Ooh, very the nice. Ni- the Nigerian nightmare. <laughs> oh God. That was a, uh, he was on the Steelers, wasn't he? <laughs> Nigerian nightmare. I don't I, you don't I like, know the football player? Okay, never mind. Uh, that, I thought you maybe you'd know your Steelers history. All I right. do, but I can honestly <laughs> say I've never heard that 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 nickname. It, He's just a giant uh, Christian Okoye. He was a running back for the Kansas City Chiefs, so there's a reason I didn't oh, know shit. him from Steelers history. Okay. So, all right. Yeah, no, I couldn't history. fucking remember. I don't know. And he played for three, five years. So. Yeah, he was giant. I, I I will tell you that I'm not real appreciative of Nick's googling. Like we don't do that on this fucking show. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we don't no, want we answers. Look, we don't look up facts. We, yeah, we don't want testing, answers. Random claims. He was testing my team loyalty, and it was kind of pissing <laughs> me off. So uh, I had to get the quick fact check in there to, to tell yeah. him to go fuck himself. No. Now you see, when we go to pull up awesome stuff, we pull up shit like this. What do we got here? Now, okay. Such a great um, black this screen. is mm. a fight scene that that lasts a little while. Uh, I'm not going to play any audio because there's a song playing. And I don't want to get pulled. But, yeah, right. Because <clears throat> we're so <laughs> we're so now, happy, right? Feel yeah. free to talk over the video because you're looking at what happens. It All is right, so. it is a middle school fight if I have ever seen one. Uh, it's there's just something. A, Black Pants is he's kind of holding his left a little low. It might hurt him in the. Oh later yeah, rounds. yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Is... Like he's he is waiting for the overhand right, never gets one, or gets one. There's somebody else yelling, yeah, and they the just keep that hype man. I they just it. keep walking around, hikes up the pants, hikes up the pants, and I'm just. It's the hype man. The hype. They're just like somebody hit somebody. I love I feel like <laughs> I love the ripped heroin bodies too. Like yeah, but he like doesn't they're have ripped because they don't have any body fat. Yeah, it's like that's his rib cage. That's not that's not abs. But they're both winded already, and nobody's <laughs> thrown a real punch. Oh, there you go. There is first swing. Oh, Did you oh, see oh, the hop? Oh, hold on, hold on. Match. The hop. wrestling match. The hop. The hop when he goes into it. Yeah. He's setting them up. Setting them up. Setting them up. And the and yeah, I will tell you this for for all you wrestling and fans, Steve Blackman's really he's really been hit hard in retirement, man. Okay, for any wrestling fan that has listened to this, yeah, I'm gonna Jordan I'm gonna, will appreciate. That I'm gonna one. quit. I'm gonna quit having multiple wrestling fans on this fucking show. Uh, I, Yale, I was a wrestling fan. I still don't know who he's talking about. It's Steve, he's, some, he's some black man. I don't know. Um, anyway, here comes the most intense action of the fight right here. I'm excited. Kata! Did he what fall dropped or did he him? push him? It, it you like you he can see him. him. He No, the way he falls was like he got hit. But there's no... Th- that's. Oh, the, yeah, he got him. He, did, he, he got him with the hit. left. He yeah, got him with the left. No, no, it was a right. It was a right. Oh. But it's so like 
It's a nothing it's right. punch. Oh, yeah. It's, it's right right a nothing jaw. punch. It's right on the oh, jaw, man. He's holding him. He's holding his left side of his head, and he pow. Yeah. Right in the kisser. Yeah. Uh, so he... So, it so which one of these... Much. Sometimes it doesn't take much Hold to on. drop. So then, of Some course, have... somebody else is going to step oh. in. Now, now oh. your fight's with me. Let me take off my jacket. Well, you might want to take off that, that jersey, too. You don't want to get that stained. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody, uh, yeah, rec- Does anybody recognize it as a Paul Pierce it's jersey? Paul Pierce Celtics Paul jersey, yeah. Awesome. Now, which one of those this guys would be you, fucking, you could take? This would be yeah, Boston, you fucking trash. Yeah, Paul Pierce. Okay, here's my favorite part coming up right now. What's that? Close game. Cop. Were they... No, no we're doing cop. a fucking thing. <laughs> I thought it was the Browns post-game victory speech that got you fired up. <laughs> don't have that. No. He's not doing shit. He's just sitting there letting this all unfold. Yeah, Honestly, I mean, everyone... Probably... <laughs> Everyone it's loves probably, a good bum fight. I love it. It's I probably absolutely. in a neighborhood where stupid shit like that happens. Those fights, so he's probably fights. like, they'll figure it out. What's the Dude, point of me intervening? Yeah, they definitely, <laughs> they definitely probably hold on. Uh, let them get all tired out before I go out I there. Thinking, yeah, he was about to jump out, and then that black dude walked up there, and he's like, "Not now, not, not in 2020." That, they're gonna settle that shit on their own. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I actually just saw a uh, video of someone coming up with a uh, lacrosse stick mm. and beating the shit out of a cop car while the cop's in it, and the cop does nothing because yeah, What's dude, would you? Because he, can't. I mean, and like the but argument, he was. For, I bet he yeah, was. The, ar- for the argument is that like you're still a cop, you still got to do your job, and you're like. I, it's not worth it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he's got asthma, and I can't taser him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Now, here is somebody that doesn't give a fuck about who you are or how old you are. He will beat your fucking ass. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Swinging this kid around. <laughs> you just you, you hear, hear him just smash. I, I gotta hear the thud. I gotta hear the thud one more time. <laughs> the funny part is, is the thud, and then the kid just hops right up. Like next. No, this is definitely <laughs> not the first time he's went for a round of wall. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and Hold then on. the next kid comes yeah. up. Yeah, this is like a fight scene where they come one at a time just to exactly. get fucked up. Exactly. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, that's absolutely ridiculous. Quite honestly, if the kid came out and did a split against me, he deserves anything he gets. He's taking it easy on this one. No, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Is he taking it easy on him? Is he, he was. It? He's like, oh, he's. Like, it looked like they were practicing, and then all of a no. sudden, oh my god, it looked like, like it was like fucking Dragon Ball Z. Whenever somebody powers up, and they just let him hit him enough, and they just don't move to show how fucking powerful they are. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, God damn, he smacks the shit out of his- what, a, what a brilliant piece of art. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, every, like every woman that spoke out of turn. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's Here's what that the thing. Was. As I watch this, I just picture like this is the martial artist and structure that you take your kids to when you don't have the balls to discipline them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you... <laughs> He's just like, like my kid's I don't a piece of go, shit, but I'm just gonna let this guy kick his ass. <laughs> he keeps hurting me, Dad. I don't want to go back there. Well, I didn't want to see minus on your report card, Jeffrey. But here we are. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, this guy this is, is where actually... the Asian parents take their kids when they get bees. And this mad. guy is actually a pimp. No, because um, the Asian kids would have beat this white guy's ass already. No, well, they're, they're martial Asian. artists at birth. Wasn't Mr. Splits an Asian? They all look. I mean, I don't know if that's the, better, this, but they this, all look like they're. Asian. The video quality is too shitty. We'll I'll, yeah. we'll never be able to tell. I'll tell but you this though. Look at this. Look at this high kicking son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh wait, this is the same. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a, they just yeah they just play again. it over okay. again. So this guy is actually a pimp, and that hand he's used on his hose <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> you think you think that's gotta, what the deal is? You got to keep the ten pants. Wham, dude! He put that kid 
out, man. He put him down so was, fucking hard. <laughs> even for that being a nine-year-old child, that was still pretty impressive. <laughs> the, just that slap, the sound of the thud when that kid hits the floor, and the sound of the slap, and how far he goes, it's like, holy The, the shit. weird part is, is it's clear that the kids, like, either aren't allowed or are scared. You know what I mean? Like, they did not touch him at all. Like, when he yeah, was, was ducking... Weird. When he was ducking that kid's overkick. Like, it looked, like, choreographed, almost like right. he was teaching them, like, fight choreography. Right. But then and why did he smack where, the kid He's in like, the face? and this is where um, I'm going to – you're going to want to duck to your right because I'm going to swing with my left. So he tells him that, and then he swings with his left and has the kid set up for it just so he can knock him the fuck out. How fun would it be to just be able to beat the shit out of a room full of children? <laughs> have you God. ever – have you ever listened to that uh, – that conversation that Joe Rogan and Ari Shafir had. Probably. Ari Shafir brings up the topic and he goes, so what he goes, so think about this. Would you be able to beat up 12, 12 year olds at one time? And Joe Rogan with like, without hesitation is like, oh, I'd yeah. fuck him up. Fuck him. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What? He goes, all of them are coming like, at you at once. I was like, they're not going like, to be able to process. He goes, they, he goes they're not going to stand a chance. He goes, well, what if they're organized? Doesn't matter. He goes, that first kid that comes up to me will get a kick to the chest and the rest of them would shit their pants. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, when you hear his kicks sound like fucking gunshots. He, he just uh, he just posted a video of him hitting a bag. Yeah. No, like this, Joe Rogan was teaching George St. Pierre how to throw a spinning back kick. And George St. Pierre... Watched him do bitch. it and hurt and oh. heard it hit the pad and was like, "Oh fuck!" I was like, "That's how fucking powerful his kicks are." And speaking of raw power, yeah, incredible well, martial artist. I, you know what? That's yeah. This guy is the only guy that could probably take down the other one. Oh, I yeah. seen this. Is this the goal? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, this doing? is an image. This is just an image, bro. Why the is this my truck in? that he is? Uh, yeah, fuck. yeah. Look at this fucking dude, man. Hold up. Let's 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 just leave it there. Really, yeah, it's gonna be a TikTok video. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this was absolutely amazing. Who's he? Who's he about? Yeah. About to some random person. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like me if I went in Look there with Steven Seagal. Dude, he's out of breath. Like, he's not checking on the guy. He's His hands are on who his knees. You, who <gasps> he can't even bow. He just lazily raises his hands. <laughs> he eh. loves her like, like, keep going. Keep going. I love how his dedication to dyeing his beard and hair. <laughs> yeah. He's an ambassador. He's a jet black. He's look good. Like, how are you that vain to keep dyeing your hair and you don't, like, make any effort to lose the two and a half people that you have gained of body weight Oof. steven seagal used to be skinny he was never mm -hmm. muscular he was a skinny guy dude he has he has completely get look like at that that is so slow look at him move to the side yeah it's he's obviously like, course, and then he's right? asking him what kind of cheese he likes <laughs> yeah. he likes her variety yes yes tom segura this is what we do on this podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We just we rip repeat off other people. people's jokes and pretend that they're ours. Well, you know what bothers me? People are going to now remember this uh, podcast as the joke that I came up with last week about Britain's liking tea. Oh, my God. That, that zinger. That's horrendous. You haven't seen it. You haven't seen it, probably. Yeah, of Nick. course he hasn't. But, yeah, I um, saw last. Yeah, I watched last week's one. Derek, I told you about it, you dick. <laughs> was it not was like it not one you. of the most horrific jokes <laughs> yeah awesome. but, but like but like because i told derek i said i'm gonna start i got uh uh catching up on all the episodes i was behind was painful to do so i have alerts set on my phone for wednesdays now <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Was, which you why can was it do, painful which you can do too you can please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you won't miss I mean, a single episode when you're when you're sitting at home like it's hard to like just sit there and listen to somebody, the same mm -hmm. two people, for yeah. four to five hours at a time. No, now, that's insane. if I was if I was driving, that's why we put it out. No once problem. A week. If I was right. driving, no problem. <laughs> but like when I'm just sitting there at home, when I can listen to one episode and then I could like I don't know, 
yeah. watch do, do Netflix something else. or something else. <laughs> Nobody told you to sit down and watch all. Oh, of them I in I a row. didn't. But like, there was a couple times where I think one of the days I did three in one day, and it was like the like, I'm uh, sick of hearing their fucking mouth. Yeah, it was man. like I was. It was like halfway through the second one. I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Yo, do, do you anymore. have your uh, soundboard hooked up or no? My soundboard? No. You, I have it which is your up. phone. I have it hooked up to the laptop. <clears throat> Why do you have... Well, I'll tell you this. I think that... So today I went through Panda Express, I know. Oh, is this a, is this a shit we hate? Just, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a okay. shit we hate. So I went through Panda Express, right? I get a drink. They switched from Pepsi to Coke already Ugh. pissed off, right? Ugh. Yeah, already pissed off. <clears throat> I order the drink, and then I get home. And by the time I get home, like, you don't actually start drinking until you get home. And then you – just to take the first sip and realize that the pop was flat. That's why I always sip it before I leave the parking lot. To me, the negligence of that worker – that's Disrespect. automatic term. It's automatic termination in my in my mind. <laughs> like, pay attention to the quality of food that you're putting out. All right, you could have gave me one less chicken nugget or orange chicken piece, as long as I got solid soda. drinking, solid drinking, soda, drinking like pop. It. Yeah, um, I don't know. If, I don't how many people were working because, like, I you know you worked at Arby's. There was how many people working? when you were working at least four yeah, at a time. So you had, you could have somebody check it. Like when I was working at Subway, I was working by myself. You get busy, like, and they go, Oh, the pops fly. And it's like, ah, damn it. That's one thing. They fill it up themselves. You're not handing it to people. You would notice if you were filling up for them. True. Cause that, you know, I noticed when I was filling it up for someone. Yeah. Now, another topic I wanted to bring up unless uh, Yale's got another topic he wants to speak about, but no, um, I, I just want to say that was an example of, and actually i do have one i do have oh. a shit we hate oh we um, got another it, it came up um i forget the term of it uh the type of art that is just nonsense all <laughs> most <laughs> abstract abstract okay. art yeah. i the fucking hate abstract art it's so stupid like people are so talented and have the ability to paint these gorgeous murals that have really great detail and look very realistic and i think that is a crazy awesome talent and it somehow somebody was like well this artist took a piece of their own blood and some of their own feces and mixed it into the paint and did a handprint where they wiped it down and they're like three million dollars for this photo it's the dumbest example where and it's actually been discussed of like how it's just a racket like they take a select group of people and they appraise everything and then they just get a cut of everything and it's I don't just know what all you're talking about this and looks I hate good it, and i hate you and fuck you you just googled abstract art yeah see like yeah this, this is it. see okay what do you hold on, what hold do you on. have scroll, a problem scroll with? back up scroll back up scroll back yeah. up the middle the lady's face at the very top go back up i'm trying bitch ass computer i which which one are we talking about this this one here Yes, the lady's about. face. That's just people that can't draw or paint well. It's an That's homage an excuse. to Picasso. It's just a fucking excuse. <laughs> it's an homage. It's a homage <laughs> it's to homage. Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks. I mean, some of the stuff's pretty sweet though. Like it this, is. Some of it is pretty sweet, but that that the title of this one is oh, like this right here. In the What's fall. this one? What was the one under the butterfly? <laughs> Uh, the abstract art painting, like right here, the ones you're on, like hovering yeah. over in the yeah. middle. It's just, it's like, just nonsense. This Any, anybody could do yeah. it. Children can do it. Yeah. That is definitely. Children can uh, do it. I mean, yeah. there's details in like some of it, like on the edges around the like, but like, like, like that butterfly is fine. That looks cool. I can't, I can't do what they did, but to me, that looks dumb. Okay, but like the the woman in the middle, the woman's face, like yeah. that actually looks good. That took some skill to actually be able to paint her. Right. Uh, the details of her face, or, and like, then they have the one the right beside up. it. But the one beside it is nonsense. <laughs> yeah, agreed. It's like uh, they, some, it's some of this is actually it's like pretty they good. snorted paint yeah. and then sneezed on it over and over again. <laughs> it's just a complete and utter nonsense. I, I'll tell you this: this modern abstract art 
I absolutely, I could do this. That's yes, just shapes. exactly. <laughs> That's just shit. Well, Derek, just go up and do it. That face at the top was like seventy bucks. I mean, shit. Start making some money. We know we're yeah. not. You're not making money off the podcast, so you might as well start doing some art. That is for sure. But th- this right here, my wife could absolutely do. Yeah, I yeah. definitely could not. I'm a terrible drawer. I can't even draw stick figures. So, but I'm left-handed. I think that's my excuse. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, Yale. I What's think up, I buddy? just proved the fact that you're wrong. In abstract art, has a place in all He's galleries. Half wrong. He's half wrong. <laughs> He's half wrong. No, that, that face Derek, was absolutely you, ridiculous. You are wrong. It's you. <laughs> Don't fucking come at me like that. Hey, you. Fuck yeah, that's right. User. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. By the way, that fucking accuser, I, I think about her quite often. <laughs> she's she's favorite. she's one of my favorite people in the entire world. Yeah. She was shopping yeah. for chicken, man, because... I need my protein after my workout. Right. <laughs> Only she, she doesn't get, didn't yeah. come from a workout. I'm guessing she didn't come from a workout. No, no. And she was, yeah. she was already pretty pissed that uh, all of the, the carts were taken, the motorized carts. Fuck. I'm going to figure out how to get it to stop doing that whenever I plug in the audio cable. Or just so buy another a, one. So there's a sh- settings. Have both of you, either of you, been to a strip club before? No. Yeah. Never. You've uh, never been to a strip club? Nope. Not once? Not Dude, you got to go to the one in Lima. It's terrible. <laughs> it's <laughs> bad. That one's bad. Uh, and the I've, landing I've strip. Been, yeah, I've never been to it, but... I've well, just I'm heard sure it can't just... be much worse than was it? Is it Fantasyland and Tiffin? Fantasyland and Tiffin, dude. Yeah, uh, was... Let me put I've it. Heard, I've heard some bad stories there about that place. No, have I, Nick? Have I never told you about my experience there at the landing strip? I don't. It's think pretty so. goddamn hilarious. There we go. <clears throat> so, the first thing is that I go there and I recognize this girl as uh, someone that my cousin brought to my house like a couple of months ago, and then apparently she like. Never even hooked up with him and then grabbed a couple hundred bucks from him and then split. I recognize her after talking to her for like 30 seconds. I was like, you look really familiar. She's like, you look really familiar. I, like, I know who you are. I know who you are. And I was like, I'm shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. What's your name again? She goes, Sphinx. And I was like, right. No, it's not. Okay. No, no, okay. no, no it's uh, not. <laughs> no. This, this girl got kicked out of the Marine Corps in basic for losing her shit. And that she admitted, which means the sequence of events were probably much worse than what she told because she's telling me and it still sounds horrible. Yeah. Basically, during sleep deprivation training, she like hallucinated and lost her shit. Nice. And it's that was her right. version of events. So who knows how what bad actually it actually happened. was. Yeah. So And so I see her and um, she felt really awkward and I just kept putting down singles to have her dance for like another 30 seconds because she was just like, not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. And, uh, yeah, she didn't want. Yeah, the and that wasn't even the best part of the whole evening. The best part is right after that, uh, a pretty decent looking girl for the f- the only one in this entire establishment um, starts doing some crazy acrobatic. Sh- fuck off! Starts doing some crazy I, acrobatic shit, um, and everybody just starts throwing money because it was it was actually really impressive. She had done like 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 a like a back handspring into like some splits. And then like at one time she climbed all the way to the top of the pole and then just dropped and slammed into the ground in a splits and then just kept like shaking her ass. And I was like, holy shit. And uh, I go up to the bartender right after. That's not bad. Or I think it was, they were tended bar, but they were also the manager just to give you an idea of the class of this place. Absolutely. And um, it looked like the type of place where you throw peanut shells on the ground and everything's sticky and well everything is sticky but continue (laughs) yes but even the things that aren't supposed to be sticky are also sticky and i says man she's really she's actually really good and he goes yeah it's a shame we got a loser i was like oh is uh she quitting he's like ah nah she's uh pregnant and she's starting to show so this is gonna be the last and i was just like dude she slammed into the ground at like fucking baby is no longer in there that, ba- I told you, that baby's face is going to be smashed flat at this point. <laughs> like, I don't know what she did. Oh, my God. Was like, I think she, was like, she was like several months pregnant already. Right. Looks, like a, looks like a joint that has like C-section Sundays, you know what I'm saying? 
I just I found that hilarious. Does it <clears throat> does it have a buffet? No. Ooh, good question. No. Yeah. That, then is at it least, really at a least strip not club? then. I I thought um I thought most strip clubs did buffets like early in the day just to see if they can get people to come in early during the time. I don't know. So they I any money. I've never been to one. I'm just been. going based off of jokes from movies and right. or comedians about strip so, Yeah, that was my guess. Buffet. I've never been to one that had a buffet. I've been three times. One in Lima, one in Vegas, and one in El Paso. And so, which was best. The Vegas one, I'm assuming. No. 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 It was fucking not it was just it just cost more. It's money. It's yeah. it's it it's a business. More. Yeah. It just no, it was it wasn't any better. I'm sure that you could go to one. That was better. I just like I just went there. I was there. I shit you not. Fifteen minutes spent one hundred and fifty dollars and got nothing out of it. I bought a bucket of beer, mm. and I she the girl basically forced me to take a lap dance, forced me to buy a drink for her, and it was just it just wasn't good. None yeah. of it was good. It was yeah. horrific. It's like it's like uh, when I went to McDonald's in Chicago. I got two McDoubles, a fry, and a dr pepper and i paid like i don't know like 15 dollars or something for it yeah or like when you go to dc a five dollar foot long is like fucking twelve dollars <laughs> fucking democrats now listen <laughs> goddamn <laughs> libtard snowflake <laughs> um let me tell you I, I would love to tell you guys about my trip to a strip club did you want to finish something no i um do your trip to the strip club it just that what we just okay. said made me think of something that happened this weekend I'll you might want to write it down because this is going to be a decent decent story here oh okay i'll just say this real quick um yeah. uh, i went to a halloween party and i met a black cat named coon go on that was my nickname in grade school all right carry <laughs> <laughs> ohio not racist at all guys <laughs> racism isn't real <laughs> well, I, that was legit my nickname my uh, privilege is a myth yeah <laughs> i mean at least you uh come from a different nationality it wasn't like it was no it wasn't some be, <laughs> it, it, it actually had like the the nickname had merit in this in, in a sense though um i would get really dark obviously during summertime and then wintertime would come and you start i'd start getting lighter but oh, I thought you were going to say because you had eyes. black eyes and you were always stealing shit. So, well, the the black eyes. <laughs> raccoon. Raccoon. Holy shit. That wasn't even. No. Raccoon. I yes. meant raccoon. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I finished that, I was like, no. <laughs> cancel. Then uh, uh, cancel. I said uh, worse shit podcast. than that. <laughs> That's the I worst part. All right, so uh, this is a. Uh, I went to I went to Toledo, to the strip club, and I went while I still had a while I had a girlfriend, so that was a little odd. Um, and then I I was at I was working at Arby's and I was going that night, and I was working a, a morning shift. So I went up to the manager, who I ha was having relationships with the time, at the relations. Time. <laughs> Just say relations. I was having relationships with. <laughs> well, I had a bunch of relationships at one point. But uh, that's the truth. I tried, I'll drink to that. Yeah. So I went up to her and I was like, "Hey, could you give me some of Arby's money so I can go to the strip club?" And it wasn't like I stole. Oh I gave God. her. I gave her fifty dollars, or I gave. I gave her like a hundred dollars, and she gave me them in ones. That was. Oh, she just okay. traded it out. <laughs> I thought you just stole from Arby's yeah. to go to the strip. Club. Yeah, I wanted to that make that very. Baller. That would have been awesome. That would be actually. baller as fuck. <laughs> so how'd you like, get all this? On. How'd you get all these ones? Hold I on, got you got lap Arby's. dances on Arby money? Fuck yeah! <laughs> right, <laughs> right. They got like, all the meats, baby. <laughs> roast beef, bitch. Uh, so yes, that was. I was actually the name clear. of a couple of the strippers. Yes. So I go, we go up, we pregame, obviously, because who, right. who's going to draw? Uh, I actually, we couldn't drink there. I was 18. You were underage. Time. Yeah. Right. But you, but at that time, you pregamed everything. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah. So we got drunk and we were stupid enough to go to Walmart first. And I'm speed shopping, grabbing whatever I can. I spent $175 at the store. 
for a one night <laughs> for one night, right? I have three hundred total. Even I if you over did half steal money. Arby's money, it's not even worth it at this point anymore. <laughs> I spent. I had three hundred total. I spent On over what? half of what it. What all did you buy? Stupid shit, dude. Probably. I went through the. I I went through and I was drunk, so I was I literally acting. Yeah, well, I was acting like I was like in a sweep sweepstakes where you like run down the aisles and grab shit that you want you know what i mean i was just walking and i like grab oreos and i threw those in prisoner of I... azkaban special edition this one's got director commentary <laughs> <laughs> we've already watched <laughs> prisoner I'm of azkaban yes, but commentary. not with the director commentary yeah this one's blu-ray so i yeah i bought 175 dollars <laughs> worth of snacks that, oh that i God, left there dude yeah Thank you. Jesus. We go to the strip club, $20 cover charge. So now I am close to $200 out of my $300. And I haven't even been in the strip club yet. I go there. I I go with two of my friends, both of which uh, Nick knew or Nick knows. Nick knew. That's what Viv called me. Nick knew, baby. Uh, We we get there and... (laughs) I'm I'm like taking it all in. Like I don't know what to do. We just sat at a table, and right. I'm just you know I have no You're the idea. New kid the in school, right? Yeah. There's a guy to our right, and he wants to have a conversation. Oh God! You know? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Where you know what do you, what do you do? Oh, this is you know this is fucking Chrysler here. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's he knew. All the girls, they all came up and like talked to him. And he was at least 50, right? Uh, it 40, was, 50, it was 45, 40, 50, somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And he was, he was a regular. And I already, I'm like, if you're a regular and you know these people, I'm, I'm done talking to you. Like, I felt like a sleazeball myself. He's definitely a sleazeball. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's just weird. I mean, yeah. you got to think how much money does that person spend? It, exactly. Right. And, or how, how often is he there, really? It's just to know almost every single worker. Like every girl came up to him, and one girl was sitting on his lap a lot. So yeah, that's so, that's somebody that amount. spends a shitload of money. So they yeah, all it, just get comfortable like, with the fact that he's a creep. It's just like him being a regular at a bar, but it's 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 a very much more expensive regular to be. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. So there's there's two kids uh, obviously with me. One has been to a strip club before, and he's like. He's been there, done that. He went with his older brother. He knows uh, a little bit. The other one is just like me, fresh, a newbie, has no idea what's going on. The The newbie, he gets – a girl comes up. is like, hey, would you like a private dance? Now, they're smart. They say, we're going to give you a dance, and it's going to last for an entire song. They wait until the song has started, then come up and ask you, then walk you back, and then they, they dance on you until the end of that song. So they're dancing for like a minute for yeah. for a one yeah. song. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Just song, for a, the song for, had for already those... started. The song had already started. Easily. Yeah. I the just, song's, the I song's just, already halfway through by the time you get to the back. I just picture you haggling with her. It was like, listen, you danced to <laughs> two thirds of a song. I paid for a song. So just, you know, 40 I'm, seconds of the next song, and then we call it fair. I'm not I, being I, an asshole. By the here. way, I'm, I'm I am trying to get a fair deal. <laughs> I, I am getting. I am getting to that, uh, to the to the lap dance part here. Oh, God. So <laughs> that guy that guy goes with the girl for the song, right? The the I'm gonna call the veteran and me. He's like, hey, dude, is that girl is that girl attractive to you? And I'm like, she's definitely you know one of the better ones we've seen. She's on the main stage. That's not a yes or no, by the way. <laughs> is she attractive? I mean, she's you know. She's, She's one bad. of the more human-looking people in this establishment. Oh, yeah. By the way, we went on Amateur Wednesday. I just want you. To- <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot it was Amateur Wednesday. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so God. and let's have a drink to the name of the episode because it comes out on Wednesday. Amateur yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> So, so not only was that guy like extra creepy because he was there on a fucking Wednesday, right? But you know now it's you're also Wednesday. there on a Wednesday. 
I'm a high school <laughs> also 18 you years old. I'm 18 years old. I didn't have school the next day. Uh, it, hey, that's what you do. Hey, guys, we don't have school tomorrow. What do you want to do? Let's fucking go to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm lying. My I, friends and I would have, like... At that point, we'd have been like, hey, you want to play Halo? We'd be like, yeah, cool. <laughs> There's no way we would have gone, let's go to a strip. Yale and me are playing I, video yeah. games the nights before days we don't have school. Derek, what you do? <laughs> it, was, it was winter break. Going to a strip club on an amateur night. It was during, winter break. During so I Christmas can pay, break. <laughs> so I can pay sluts who don't know what they're doing to dance. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Eric must have got his Christmas money early from his grandma. It's like, well, I guess I'll just fucking spend it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Spending your grandma's Christmas money on lap dances. I spent, dude, I had a birthday. I, yeah, I had my birthday. My birthday was the 13th. Right. Christmas break was like next week. I went during Christmas break. The story just getting better and better. It's the ghost of Christmas future. You will spend her gift on an over the pants <laughs> hand job. <laughs> okay <laughs> back, back to the story you He's will like, come in your pants and be super embarrassed change your way so he was like <laughs> he's like okay th this this girl's hot the hottest one we've seen so far let's go set up at the at the main main stage Still never answered just, the like, original question is she actually attractive <laughs> she, she i mean like i said yes she, yes she was attractive but she, like I always like stripper attractive and actual like you know what I mean like okay. if you're a stripper you well, got to have sex with her if you met her at a house party yeah yeah absolutely okay there you go good enough um so he's like well let's go set up at the main stage and I'm like dude I don't know what the fuck to do he's like just sit next to me and you know that's make it right uh, yeah I'll show you well <laughs> remind you I'm already 200 deep and I haven't even spent a <laughs> spent a dollar on it going to make yet. it rain a hundred bucks. <laughs> So you're trying to you're trying to make it rain with all the snacks that you bought at Walmart. Who wants some Cheetos? Okay, <laughs> he's just he just got the stack of Oreos, just just swiping the like tops a, off of them, yeah. just fucking sleep. like a six. You like see, six, like everybody six. starts throwing singles on the stage. You just see her; she gets pelted with Cheetos. <laughs> Goddamn, cheese it to the eye. Somebody starts. <laughs> somebody else pops a bottle of champagne. He fucking shakes up a Mountain Dew and. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely what happened <clears throat> so we get there and he i'm like what do you do so he he bends the dollar like long ways and then sets oh, like yeah. three dollars uh, on the stage you know what happens next <laughs> she comes over she crawls over to us right mm -hmm. all so sexy, three dollars like, all stripper sexy like <laughs> three <laughs> fucking dollars I think I, I, up there I spent about ten dollars or whatever. I think I put I put a five. She put the five in my waistline, and then took it out with her mouth. I know we're in a strip club, but money is gross. Don't put yeah. it in your fucking mouth, sweetheart. But you're 18 years old. That was probably pretty fucking awesome. Probably the most Dude. awesome thing ever. <laughs> I'm not done. Okay, that's what she did to me. She must not have found me. I've, that I've, already, attractive. I've already finished with this yeah. story. I am done. You, 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 you should... hurry up and wrap it up. Yeah. I'm no longer. No, I've lost you better. Interest. You better take a blue <laughs> pill because it's getting better. She didn't find you attractive. Which I'll is see if I can. I'll see if I can refluff. I'll see if I can refluff for the rest. She of the must story. have. Found, she must have found the other guy more attractive, right? So he puts a couple dollars down. She picks him up, puts him in her like they have like these bands on her uh, on their legs to you know put the money. Yeah, the garter. Yeah. Uh, she she sets yeah, she sets starter. down with her legs open. Okay. Yeah. She puts her legs on his shoulders, face down. Is she face down? She's face up. Okay. Right. So he's looking at he's just just a face just full of badge. Yeah. And then she he's looking at the eye of the beast. And then she proceeds to repeatedly run her vagina into his face. Nice. Just very, wham, very classic. wham, wham, wham. <laughs> yeah. This guy had a decent sized nose, man. I'm like, dude, he like, is yeah. nose a, he is That made my nose deep. hurt. That See, now, nose even hurt. though that you're the one that worked at Arby's, he's the one that got a face full of roast beef. That <laughs> That's for yeah. sure. And, dude, 
I guarantee because he told me later because he like gave me a side eye. I was like this the whole time. <laughs> I would have been the same way. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Absolutely blown away. <sighs> Your nose just wasn't big enough. It wasn't the attractiveness. Finish nose him. Wasn't big enough. I, dude, it, and dude, it, I gave her fucking like ten bucks compared to his three. He gets fucking vagina to the face. I get. Yeah. I get well, next to nothing. It's amateur Wednesdays, man. That's right. Yeah. So we. So we're up there. And that was then, actually his girlfriend. He didn't say anything at the time. That was actually his girlfriend. Um, <laughs> actually, his girlfriend. His girlfriend at the time is actually his wife now. Oh uh, wow, that's all. Say his name. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> she, I don't she, know these people. You should totally do it. Do it. She, do it. she knows. You're a pussy she knew, if you don't do it. You're a pussy if you there. don't do it. You little bitch. Fucking little bitch. So we <clears throat> little bitch. Say his name, bitch. Look we set closely. up in the main stage for two Lost songs. Your balls, man. Right? Marriage changed you. You're soft. Uh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I understand exactly what he's saying. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so I'm, am I. <laughs> I'm soft all the time. All right. So uh, stay hard. <laughs> just wet noodle all day. <laughs> so we go, we, we stay up there for two songs. We go back. We're talking right? about his penis, not his body. Yeah. Correct. Quit interrupting. I know. I'm sorry. He's we, built like a wet noodle. What do you want from me? We go back to the we go back to the table. Like I said, we stayed up there for two songs. Amateur went for a lap dance halfway through. So he's about two and a half songs deep now into a lap dance. Amateur. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm what what just happened at the main stage? I'm still kind of like blown away. So I'm sitting there like. A girl comes up to me and she's like, hey, do you want a lap dance? And uh, I was like, no, I'm I'm out of money. <laughs> like, I, I didn't have any money. No, I, I spent all my money. No, I, I, I lied. I, I just didn't find her attractive, so I sent her on. Amateur comes back to the table, right? And we're like, dude, where the fuck were you? He goes, how much money do you guys got left? <laughs> well we know where this is going we're like, <laughs> we're like dude why, why why did you let her give you a lap dance for fucking four songs he's like just how much money i'm like dude i'm not giving you much i'm, I'm giving you 20 bucks he needed 85 dollars he gave i gave him 20 the other guy gave him 20 she pays her 40 bucks. See, that's all he's like, that's all I got. I don't have any more money. And then the other, and then, uh, and then the, the veteran, he paid for me to get a lap dance. Super awkward. Yeah. I did. I, it's not for somebody me. you don't know. It's the first I, and only time I ever got, I, I went to the strip club. I never went back. Yeah, but, It's just, it's the weirdest of like, you know, it's fake. Like everybody right. involved knows that it's fake, so it's just yeah. so weird. It just right. feels weird. Uh, long story short, now, yes, amateur, Caleb. yes, Caleb, amateur got a blowjob from the lady. Ah, which is great, but now, now that I'm retelling the story, I now realize that I you paid a hooker, you paid a prostitute. Well, no, according to how the night went, I was the ugliest of the group. I got nothing. I believe well, that. And, and it didn't help that you had the least amount of money as well. You know, when you're ugly, you got to have more no. money. Yeah. Uh, well, I will tell you this. I started the night with the most amount of money. Yeah. I've always... Yeah. Well, I've always you didn't I, get there with the yeah. most amount of money. I've always That's thought you sure. were horrific looking. So, like, that doesn't shock me at all. I mean, it's not very hard for Derek to go into a group and be the least attractive person. In yeah, it. no. I, He's the worst looking in this group of three. And, like, that's saying a lot. Yeah, I mean, do you see how big our noses are? Exactly. Mine is long and pointy. Yours is thick and girthy. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why it gets a lot. You got Irish. <laughs> you got I. You got Irish potato nose for sure. What was he gonna say? Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say that's why you get along with a certain group of individuals, there, Nick. Oh, okay. Why? Just because I I like black people and hang out with black 
because they're going to make fun of my nose. <laughs> no, like, I'm just saying oh, wow. there's similarities between noses. So you're saying, Hashtag so you're saying it's not. cancel DOD podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, baby. No, Derek, 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 Derek might be ending racism. He's just saying the way you act is not based off skin color. It's based off facial features. It's based If you got a nose. big nose. Yeah, you know. and yet saying that you look like black people is the most woke thing I think that's ever been uttered. Yeah, so uncancel Dodd podcast. Uncancel Dodd podcast. Just kidding. We must be stopped. We are monsters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, Derek. Do you remember our uh, a, a friend that we all know his um birthday party experience with a stripper? You mean a yours? Or what am I missing? You all went to high school with him. You had a birthday party where they brought a stripper out to the house. Are you talking about um, what was there's it? Only, uh, uh, Saint Patty's only, Day. Yes, that that's thing. that's Saint Patty's Day. I actually thought about this just today as well because I wanted to tell my stripper. So uh, telepathically, like, give a hint so Nick knows who we're talking about. Yeah. I, oh, he listens to the podcast. Shout out to Kenny. Oh, oh, you're just um, gonna put it out there, huh? <laughs> All right, Kenny. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. good. He can handle it. He, yeah, he burning listens. Burning bridges, burning there, bridges. <laughs> there, there's no, there's no chance he hasn't told this. This might be the single most uh, epic night I, I've ever I had. I think I've heard this. Well, this, I want to call out a specific slut. <laughs> Actually, two girls got him the stripper. Yeah, they yeah. were they were the best friends for him. They they respected him. They recognized that his fucking wife, soon to be ex, at the time was an awful, mean lady. Yeah. So uh, we had a private stripper burning bridges, <laughs> and um, she came and did a private show, and she was older. She was um, uh, late thirties. Easily, I'd say, uh, yeah, probably late thirties. Could have possibly been uh, like a really good looking early 40s never been i've never been more awkward around a a, <clears throat> a female so just for anyone that hasn't had a private stripper before guys are just standing around in a circle as this watching somebody dance well you, well just like no she takes like one, one person at a time and does like a lap dance for them yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're just standing there N I what's, will say what's, what's really funny is that like they show up like she drove herself and has no security. She showed up to a house full of people. Yep. Insane move. You shouldn't do that. You should have somebody with you. I could imagine someone may be out in the because I have to imagine that at some point she's got to run into some fucking, fucking danger. Yeah. yeah. Like, something terrifying she shows up and then like has to like go in the bathroom and get changed so it's just funny to transition from hey how's everybody doing um do you have a spot where i can uh get changed all right cool I'll see you guys in a minute to transition from that to what she does bow, eventually bow, bow, is bow, hilarious bow. and I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now <clears throat> i i came unprepared i had little to no ones and um did you spend them all before you got there or well, no, no the, just, the whole thing was is that she was paid and she was paid in the one. So like there's yeah, like but a, I'm guessing you still tip her. <clears throat> yes, like, to a certain extent, but she's working for the ones that make up the wh whatever the fee was. Right. To come. And right. then obviously yeah, yeah. you tip her because it's cool. But the fee is I think it was like 300, cool. 300 bucks or something like that. So it's still like she's, you know, she's doing a couple hours of work for 300 bucks. I mean, it's still worth it, even if you don't get tipped. Right. Um, it was super awkward for me because my little brother was there. <laughs> and uh, I, she put, I can't yeah, it's remember. Weird, it's it weird to have boners in front of your friends. It, it is weird. It really is. She put a dollar on someone's face like this, and then she... She did up. the splits on top of them Ooh. and picked it up with her hip Fahin. <laughs> and it was just, I was terribly Awkward. uncomfortable the whole time, but it was still pretty epic. Okay. Like, right. The next thing it. is, uh, you know, you tuck a dollar in your waistband and then she would reach from the opposite side of the shorts. Derek's wearing cargo shorts. 
like an asshole. Absolutely. And, and uh, whichever side you would put the one on, she would reach in either from the top or the bottom, like whatever the opposite side is, to like go in underneath the shorts. But the creme de la creme of the whole Very thing creative. was what she did with Mr. Kenneth. Um, <laughs> took a ice cube, put it right up in there, and dripped it into his eager mouth. And when I say eager, he was like. <laughs> and then it just. And went... I'm like, oh, dude. Take an ice cube pussy juice from a stranger like that? I was like, and then Aww. she, like, um, I think she went to do it with me. And I was just like, no, that's. Uh, yeah, absolutely no. not. Hard pass. Absolutely like, not. not. No. Hard pass. <laughs> I, I think uh, I, oh. I just went. All right, Derek, you're up, buddy. I just like got up. I was like, no. Next, I dude, don't it want was. This. Please don't do this to me. I have to pee. <laughs> yeah, God, God bless her, dude. But it was, it was rough. I mean, she, I mean, she performed her ass off, and yeah. she was very, she was very attractive. But I just one have security or something. Yeah, I mean, God, yeah. that's got to be because I could terrifying. rape you. I could rape and kill you right now. <laughs> That's what you're making it sound like. You're like, have security. So I know that I won't do that. She has no <laughs> idea what type of house she's walking into. Dude, how many it, people are there? I, I actually completely agree with you. That's it, it is pretty yeah, crazy. Dude, haven't you watched pornos before? <sighs> now, Nick, we ended up the night the, that night. What if she we just ended walks up... in and it's just 18 dudes just naked, <laughs> slowly tugging on semi hard dicks already. And she's like, She's probably fine. Turn around. Um, we ended up at the same bar that we ended that we did your twenty second. Oh, twenty second of the twenty second yeah, was, was the Delphus. was the real aggressive drinking night, wasn't it? I don't know. I was pretty. Twenty one was probably pretty bad. I, I, I just uh, I blacked out on my. 20s. Which one did you throw up on your shoes? This is my twenty first birthday. Okay. Oh, so we were at the twenty first birthday. Okay. You we were at both. Well, you know, we're just consistent. Yeah, I puked. I puked all over my my new shoes that Haley just bought me, and then oh. I puked in a in a trash bag in the back of her sister's car on the way to my mom's. <laughs> that's house. not the one you proposed to her multiple times. Yes, is it? yeah, that was my twenty first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and that's because remember I told Yale I he was that. in my top ten list of friends, and Yale was so happy. That yeah, because Yale was like, I, <laughs> Yale's like, I haven't even known you that long, and uh, I'll take it. Top ten. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. See, because uh. I'm I'm such a piece of shit that's very hard to deal with because i'm quite annoying and a smart ass constantly so every mm -hmm. once in a while when there's like a real moment i'm just like Thanks. i have a high i mean i've been friends with derek for a long time <clears throat> i have a high tolerance for that type of stuff man you you yelled at me more than any friend uh i think i've ever had yeah because you were a fucking idiot and i just let you know that you were being i'm not sure idiot. i'm not sure if it was an idiot or i was just a shit person you and were you doing didn't dumb like shit. that yeah I, I hated the dumb shit you were doing like <laughs> yeah. you were doing dumb shit to people i hated but it still pissed me off uh i mean you you like that one you liked uh you like the one explain 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 the, right now the, the mexican guy <clears throat> the mexican guy you dated a dude Jerry Jose Javiero, you liked him. I did. So you were really mad at that one. Oh, that pissed me way the fuck off. Oh, yeah. now I remember what you're talking about. You yeah, yeah. About that guy, we're yeah, that that's I'm, real fucking shit. My my prop, another <laughs> one of my shit. close friends. He f says, "Baby mama." <laughs> God, dude, you really do suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, just mm -hmm. overall, like categorically. Like the amount of shit you would have to do to make up for just your teen years would be well, like astronomical. It's, it's probably Crohn's disease. Like I knew Derek, Derek had to know he was being a piece Karma of shit. Karma is real. Derek, <laughs> Derek gotta had to be. know Derek knew he was a piece of shit when it was his girlfriend that I absolutely fucking hated with a passion. That was and you were like, you have to stop treating that awful cunt like this. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I told him that. I told him that we were sitting in his room the one night, and I was like, listen, I fucking hate the bitch, but you gotta, you gotta fucking dump her ass and then fucking just do what you want to do. Like, what's the point of keeping her around? Because I have like, because I'll, t I'll I hate tell you her why just as much as the next person. <laughs> I'll tell you. By the way, she was the one I was dating when I went to the strip club. Uh, I'll tell you why. That does not surprise me. Of course, of course. Um. Because I have fallback pussy. That's why. 
<sighs> if I don't get it from another source, at least I have. You I, only, it I, only have it, I only have spring forward pussy. It is science <laughs> that men are more attractive to women when they're taken. So I will give you that. I'm sure it was a lot easier to pull it in when you had a girlfriend than it was. No, it was a lot easier to pull it in when I was athletic and actually worked out. Well, I mean, I'll drink to that. I, I mean, <laughs> I, Yale can Yale can drink to this too. College, when the weight went up, the pussy stopped coming. Well, went down. I mean, yeah. Anytime bad. you got, yeah. And by the way, I saw I saw, over your fucking I saw a picture of your college ex, and it looked like she absorbed all of your weight. It's Ugh. like she just. She she took all of your powers. Yeah, she uh, <clears throat> she uh, she drained more than emotions. <laughs> Shut up, Nicholas. And, and, my, and my no cup. names. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I I mouthed. I, I saw that you mouthed. <laughs> yeah. The what lip that mouth do? Lip, the lip readers know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking deaf people know what I said. That's true. <laughs> Not all deaf people can lip read. I don't, dude. I assumptions. was. I was so happy when that uh, – didn't some guy write into this podcast about what he used to do to his parents and, and stuff oh, like that? Oh, yeah. He used to fuck with his dad and how, like, his – he was a hearing dude who had two deaf parents. And, like, he had to go tell them that they make a lot of noise during sex and that he can hear it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. I would pay any amount of money to be in the room for that conversation. Right. Where he just has <laughs> to – he's just explaining to them. And they're just like – you, you can hear that? Too loud. <laughs> I can hear you. He's like, <laughs> that would be awkward to tell any deaf person, let alone your fucking parents. Oh, I read, a, I heard a story about like uh, having to explain to deaf students that hearing people can hear farts. They didn't know farts made noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you probably got great. some fun stuff, don't you? And then, and and then he also that same guy that wrote in said that um, they could tell somebody was knocking at the door because they could feel the vibrations. So he would just he figured out how to copy it by stomping on the floor. So he would just stomp on the floor and make his dad get up to answer the door, and nobody would be there. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to have some karma coming around, I believe. <clears throat> but I like it. I think it's funny. I th yeah. I respect the man. I respect anybody fucking with their parents. I just Absolutely. for me, if I can make my own case here, I was just a child. I didn't know any better. Um, I'm just trying to get my karma. Off, I was you know, a was boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a baby boy. <laughs> I was a kid that knew exactly what the fuck I was doing, but for <laughs> karma, forgive me. I, I, I certainly bragged about it to you. All the time. This dude never shut up about his endeavors. Oh, God. It was important that everyone knew. That everyone knew. Well, he thought it was funny. I was he, could, he thought it was people. funny because he could come back and, you know, brag to his virgin best friend that he's getting laid all the time. Well, I'm not doing anything. Oh, wait. How long did my... it take you to... Well, when did you lose your virginity? Well, well, he did try. And it was oh. unsuccessful the first time. Let's end this episode on this story. What? No, my first time was very successful. No, you tried with um, the high the school girl girlfriend. Yeah. No, we never tried until after the first, my first time. Oh, so you, okay. Who was your first time with? Um, it was a night after it was Halloween night at Yucatan in Findlay on a Thursday night. Oh my God. Wait, you didn't right. lose your virginity until college? College. Freshman year college. No yeah. shit. Yep. Well, big, I dated the big same dick girl. Nick took until college to it, get his dick, dick wet? Nick, That's crazy. For sure. Yeah, because big my dick Nick. My fucking ugly ass got, had sex in high school. Yeah, but I was in love with a prude during high school for some yeah. reason. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. That only God. had half, that only had half her head working. <laughs> so keep going. Got caught in up into that, but no, it was oh, it was oh uh, yeah 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 it was yeah. Halloween night, uh Yucatan's Halloween party or whatever, and the girl went to Bluffton. She was a senior when we were freshmen. Congratulations on that! Thank you. Thank you. Good um, pull. Good pull. Yeah. Uh, well, she's from Van Lu. You remember her, Derek? We ended up dating for like two weeks. 
after <laughs> i love those together. relationships for two yeah, weeks i love yeah. those well what happens is, is you have sex with her and then she's like well i guess we're dating now and you're like ah fine yeah, and you're not gonna and say she's no so hot she's... that you're like yeah yeah i'm dating it a wasn't hot even... senior Fuck yeah. it wasn't even it wasn't even that it was just that she was willing here you go yeah. here you go here you go <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thank that you, ma'am. May I have another? Yeah. Please, uh, I want some more. <laughs> I'll never forget because my roommate at the time drove, was the one driving us that night. Obviously, because I didn't have a license at the point at that time, but he was driving us back and he's texting me while she's going down on me in the back seat. And he's God, just you like, did a lot of backseat stuff while someone else was driving. <laughs> um, and he goes, Do you need the room? I just it was like, uh, I guess I don't know. She we had it hadn't been brought up. I'm guessing this. She is, seems this, great. She, she's yeah, seen, yeah, she's doing was, fine. Yeah. So he, at that time, he's <laughs> I'm in the back seat while this is happening. He gets on the phone and calls Daru, <laughs> who's living across the hall from me, and he goes, "I got to crash on your couch tonight." And he goes, "Why?" Because Bob's gonna get some finally. <laughs> is it uh, is it the guy I was thinking about that I was supposed to room with? Yes. So, a story about him. Uh, you were, I think you went, you were gone somewhere. I don't know where you went, but I stayed in the room with him. And he brought over some, some, some Bluffton chick that was making her rounds. Mm. Shortly before uh, she got there, or shortly before this happened, this event happened, she got fucked in the ass loudly in Lincoln. You know what I mean? Like it was Mm -hmm. like two weeks before, before this. I know. I think I know you're talking about it's she's no idea. And she wasn't very attractive. She's the balding girl. I don't know. She was blonde. Yeah. Like white blonde hair. Yep. Yep. Oh, she wasn't very attractive. And and you know who, you knew who ass fucked her too. Yeah. I, I may have junior juniors brother. I, if it's who I think it is, I may have more to tell Dude, after there's... this podcast is over. <laughs> no, tell it, tell it for this one. Um, just no one. Knows I need names, to confirm but... who it is first. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. We'll... Yes. Yeah, so, but so Go she uh, she came Can over. You give initials. I don't. I could. I could. Tell I don't you even you remember her initials. initials. Did tell say the initial. I don't know the initials. I can't think of her last name. But. Uh, Anyway, she came over and I was staying in Nick's Nick's bed with him. And she came over and he's like <laughs> she com- she comes in and she sees me there. She didn't know I was there. And she was like straight up, she's like, I'm not into three ways. <laughs> I'm like, shit, it was on the board, but take it easy. Oh, I mean, God. fuck. I mean, she was straight up. Like she knew why she was there. She knew, you know. So I'm like, fuck it, whatever. He he decides he wants to. So you probably could the, have ah come on and convinced her. Uh, <laughs> if she, if probably ah, come on, yeah, come on. yeah, maybe. But I'm I'm really not interested. Like she was getting used, and okay? she was not that attractive. No, she was not. No. Uh, <clears throat> so he's I'm on top bunk. He's on the bottom bunk. He bends her over and he's standing like, you know, in the room. Uh huh. And she's bent over on his bed and he's railing her. Like, going to town. Railing. He's going to town, right? And he's just looking at me like, <laughs> <laughs> your face. Dude, he was like, you do, you was. Right. Yeah. And then he would like, she did not like it either, but he would like look at her and be like, wham like smack her ass so hard ah! and he would just keep going just what <laughs> he, was, he destroyed her man he had no respect for her no hey, respect. nobody did nobody no. did no she really she chose her the people wisely you know what i'm saying I'm trying to see if i can find her on facebook to give initial oh, man um yeah, her well, last think, name started with a K, didn't it? I, dude, I can't even remember. If, if I, I saw if her, who I, would I know. think it is. Her first name started with a K. So go ahead and tell your story, though. 
Uh, was this something to? No, 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 no. He says no, no. It's not, it's this, not wasn't, inter- this wasn't. It's not that sh- interesting. It's boring, okay. actually. Um, was this? This wasn't the shower girl, right? Did you have a shower girl? Shower girl. I thought you had a girl in the shower at one point. In the dorms? Yeah. No. G. No, uh, but I was gonna say that yeah. Nick, you, you Nick, <laughs> you were. You were talking about um, backseat action, and yes. I once had a girl blow me in the backseat while my parents were driving me home from a football game. Nice. Blanket. Yes. That's to answer no. your next question. No, your dad knew. He's just the fucking G. Did you nope. tell him? Nope. Um, yes. She was asleep, no. No. so we were all being quiet. <laughs> I have, and then, I found her. she had a blanket over her head, and then all of a sudden, I just feel a hand reach, and I was like, "I found her." <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are, they, what are the it initials? Was K K K. Wait. Yes. Yes, you're thinking. Definitely correctly. not who I. Definitely send not her, who I thought it was. Send a send a yeah, send yeah, it to yeah, our yeah, group yeah. chat. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so I think with that, I believe it's time to. Wrap up this lovely so. edition. This this was a really great episode. This was a fantastic <laughs> it episode. Went, it went I still really got more well. shit to play. Maybe we'll do another one. I don't know. We'll see what what you guys have going on. Thank you for tuning in to a very <laughs> disgusting and hilarious episode of Den of Debauchery. Stay tuned for more information on live episodes and the Den of Drinks episodes coming up and more to follow. Thank you guys for tuning in. All of you can go fuck yourselves. Mm. Peace. Mm-hmm. Flip off the audience with us, Nick. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, If you liked it, please like the video, uh, share it with your friends. You can click on a video over here, or you can click on a video over here, or you can subscribe right here, or wherever the fuck those things end up, and uh, be sure to watch the next one. Love you.